so now from this video we will work on our fighting system okay for that you will have to open up the fighting controller script and right here at the top let's make a header and we can name this as player movement since these variables are used for our player movement okay then copy paste that and right here let's name this as player fight okay and now in the player fight first of all we will create a float by the name of attack cooldown this will be equals to 0.5 f for now then after this create a private float by the name of last attack time then we can create a, another public float actually let's make this an integer and this will be attack damages and it will be by default equals to 5 then create a public string make it an array and let's name this as attack animations this will be equals to our attack animations name okay so if I show you the animator right here if you click on Eddie it will show you the animator of Eddie and right here we have these four attack animation which is by the name of attack 1 animation attack 2 attack 3 and attack 4 so we're gonna type these names there okay so the first one is attack 1 animation then the second one is attack 2 animation then we have attack 3 animation and the last one is attack 4 animation okay so once you type all of these names correctly then let's scroll down after the perform movement method we will create a perform attack method now and it will require a parameter of type integer by the name of attack index okay then first of all right here at the top we will check if enough time has passed since the last attack okay because we don't want the player to attack simultaneously again and again we want some time between each attack so if time dot time minus last attack time is greater than the attack cooldown okay then we will attack so in order to attack first we will trigger the attack animation so in order to do that we will say animator dot play and we want to play the attack animations and let's pass the attack index to it okay so if we pass one to this attack index then it will play the attack one animation if we pass two to it it will play the second and if you pass three to it then third and the same for the fourth okay I will show you how we will pass value to this attack index but for now just trigger the animation like this and then right down below we will apply damage to the target but as you know that we don't have any opponent right now so we can't apply our damage okay but right here we're gonna create an integer by the name of damage and it will be equals to attack damages okay for now we will just show that we are performing attack and we will show that attack index and 
how much damage that attack did okay in the console for now so in order to do that we will say debug.log right here we will say performed attack we will give some uh, space then plus sign right here we will show the attack index and we will say plus one then plus we will type dealing plus damage okay and then we will say plus again and type damage so how this will be shown in the console it will show performed attack for example if we perform first attack it will show performed attack one dealing five damage okay because as you know that this integer damage is equals to the attack damages and attack damages is set to five okay so for now we will show this then when we do that then the last attack time will be equals to time dot time then we will loop through each opponent but as I told you that for now we don't have any opponent to apply any damage so right here we will just type this comment loop through each uh, opponent because as you know that we will be having more than one opponent okay we will be changing the uh, opponent characters randomly so if first opponent is active or second or third then we will loop through all of them and whatever opponent is active and fighting the player we will apply damage to that opponent so for now just leave this comment as it is okay and then let's add the else block in which we will say uh, if the player tries to perform an attack too quickly then we will inform them and what we will inform them we will say in the console that cannot perform attack yet cooldown time remaining all right now let me show you how we can add a value to this attack index so that it plays each of the attack animation one by one okay let me show you first of all that and then after that I will explain what we did right here in the perform attack okay for the beginners who are watching this video so right here we will check for input to perform attack okay so first of all we will say at the top that if input dot get key down and that key is alpha one it means the one keyboard key okay then what we're gonna do we're gonna call the performer tag method and pass zero to the parameter attack index okay so zero will be passed to it and as you know that array start from zero so zero one two and three so we will pass zero to it so it will play the attack one animation okay whenever we press the one key on our keyboard you can change this key code to for example e or f or whatever button you want but i will uh, make this simple okay i will use one two three four keys of our keyboard to perform different attacks okay now we will say that else if we press the second key then we will pass one to our perform attack method then copy it again and paste it and now if we press the three key then we will pass two to it and then if we press the four key of our keyboard then we will pass three to it okay so using one two three four buttons we will perform different attacks now for the beginners let me explain what we did right here in the perform attack so this line right here defines a method name perform attack that takes an integer parameter which is by the name of attack index and 
as we know that this attack index indicates which attack the player wants to perform okay so if we press uh, 1 we will pass 0 to it and it will perform this attack 1 animation if we pass 1 to it it will perform second if we pass 2 to it it will perform this and if we pass 3 to it it will perform attack 4 animation okay now after this right here we uh, uh, this if statement checks if enough time has passed since the last attack it calculates uh, the time difference between the current time which is time dot time and the time when the last attack occurred okay which is this last attack if this difference is greater than the specified attack cooldown then the condition is met and the attack can be proceed or you can say performed and when the attack is performed then right here first of all this line triggers the attack animation corresponding to the uh, uh, specific attack index as I told you we are passing a value to the index from here okay and it performed different attacks then this line right here assigns the damage value for the attack and we retrieve it from the attack damages which we created right here at the top which is set to 5 okay then this line right here logs a message to the console indicating that the attack was performed along with the attack index which is incremented by one to make it human readable and then the amount of damage dealt okay then right here this line updates the last attack time variable to the current time which is time dot time indicating when the attack occurred this is used to track the cooldown between attacks right and then this else block is simple it means that if we if the player tries to perform attack too quickly then we are simply informing the player that you cannot perform an attack yet and that is it for our perform attack method okay now if we save the script and get back right here click on Eddie here is our fighting controller if you open the attack animations as you can see every name is similar to our attack animation names right here okay make sure that they are the same and we can change the attack cooldown and attack damages according to your own liking but for now I will leave this as it is okay then if you want to change them according to your own liking then that is up to you but now if you play the game okay here is our character walking perfectly fine uh, let me increase the movement speed to 2 for now okay and save the game then play it again okay it looks good now so if I press the one key as you can see it is performing the first attack as you can see and if you uh, press 2 it performs the second if you press 3 it performs the third and if you press 4 it performs the fourth animation okay and if you notice it shows uh, this error attack 4 effect and this is because if we check the eddy controller right here okay and if you double click on attack one animation and then click on this animation window if you don't know how to open it click on window then click on animations and from here you can open up this animation window or you can press control plus six okay it is showing that error because right here we added this parameter on this first attack so make sure that you select it and delete it and the same for the attack 2 attack 3 attack 4 okay make sure that you delete all four of them and you can also delete that parameters for the other characters as well for example the second one if you double click on it and double click on its animation 
okay for now it is not showing it but if you are using some other character then make sure that you delete that parameters okay we will be adding that parameters again when we will be working on our effects and if you have created a new controller then you don't have to do this step okay you can just simply skip it okay or what we can do is let me actually open up the player characters for the eddy the animator is good for the horag let me delete it okay we will be creating this again when we will be adding different player characters okay delete chain as well leave the opponent okay then Jin Kazama you can delete it as well then King delete it leave the opponent in the opponent we have the parameters as well but just leave it for now okay for the Lee we can leave it because it is an opponent and for Nina we can delete the controller as well just leave it uh, for the eddy because from the eddy we removed the parameters okay then we will just simply duplicate this and add it in the other ones and name it correctly but in the upcoming videos for now we are just focused on eddy okay so now our attacks are working perfectly fine so let's just end this video right here